Hello, it's Sarah. I am going to do a little tutorial today, guys, um, stained glass cutting and creating a little bee. And then I have some other big, well, for, for my decorative painter people, I'm going to do a, be doing a project that has to do with bees, too. So that's kind of my inspiration. I, I just did this rock. Let me move this. I'm just going to move my notebook. Um, this is my rock. In the previous video, I shared how I adhere my ball chain to the rock using silicone and this syringe, which is really, by the end of this prog project, I really feel like I got, a, I came a long way. But I feel like it's a little empty right here, so I think I'm going to try and put a bumblebee. It does not need it. It's fine. It gets the point across, but, well, you know how. It's never enough. So I drew this little... I kind of fit this in here to see how much room I had. I just want to put it there to fill that space. I don't know why. I just think it would look cute. So what I did was to make the head, let me come in. I had this, first I was going to use these, this little uh, round, that these are like the smallest that I had in my stash. I just thought it was a little too big and I tried cutting it down. It just didn't work. Eh, I didn't like that for my head. I would love it for wings. I would do two of those for the wings, but I don't have any white iridescent. So I'll, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do at the moment, I think I'm going to do it with uh, stained glass, but we're not sure. Then I was thinking I could cut off one of these Melliflori, like flower petal here, use that. But I found this black bead. In my stash, I have tons of stuff, and I just took my wheel nipper and I lined up the hole and I cut it. And that one kind of it's glass, that one kind of broke a little uneven. The first one broke perfect, and it fits right in that little drawing like it was meant to be. So that's what I'm going to use for the head. Now, I want to make little white and black stripes. Not that I have to, but it just seems like a cute way to go about it. I found this piece of scrap black and a piece of scrap yellow. I have a pistol grip glass cutter, and I'm just rolling it on this. It's oil that you can dress your blade with to cut. And I'm going to make a few cuts. Um, just going to take it and try and make some skinny... Uh, if I could do that. I haven't done it in a while. It's just slipping off. All right, let's just get a straight edge. This is called, I don't remember what it's called, but it breaks the glass. I just wanted to get it straight because I might be able to use just one piece and cut it into pieces because the, the B is sh like thin, thick, thin. So we'll see. I'm going to really try to Line this up. And to get it, I could also use my other, these kind of um, pliers. And I don't, I, I think these are called grosier pliers. I could be wrong. But I can also just grab this like that there, okay? It broke. The glass might have been broke already. See, let me just do it again. It's still straight. Try it again. Doing it on camera is not ideal because I would I would want to put my head right in the middle and that's kind of breaking it to use the grocer, but I like I think I'm gonna work with this one. I want to try and do the same thing with this piece of black. I'm just putting it right here so I can eyeball it a little easier. I like to put my finger, you can hold it like this, there's a lot of ways you can hold it, but for some reason I like my finger down lower. There we go. Alright, so I think I'm going to be able to fill in the bee body just using these two pieces. I think I want to go yellow first. So basically, I'm going to cut it with my glass, these round nose. You know what? I'm going to use um, a Sharpie. Why not? It's just going to make it easier for me. Uh, that piece. 
piece is going to be here. And then the next piece, I'll do the next piece as it comes. Why not do it one at a time? Don't forget your tweezers when you're doing this little bitty work. It makes a difference. Perfect. Hopefully I'll be able to see, or if I can't, it's fine. But I want to put a piece of black right about here. Yeah, I can't see it. Kind of. I kind of, I kind of can. And this is definitely being a little extra. Because, I mean, I don't know. I want this one to be a little wider. Um... I'm sure I could just do a yellow body. I don't know. You know what I mean? And I might not even like this at the end and just make it yellow. Like maybe that black needs to be a little longer actually. I want this to be a little wider. That's the widest part. I'm going to have to switch my black and then I can definitely do this down the bottom. I'm going to make the, the black, this black can fit down here actually. We'll see. I want to make this one wider. I, this kit doesn't even show up on the black, so I'm just going to eyeball it and c try and cut it. Oop, if I grab the right tool. Alright, so let's just build this little guy. It's hard to tell which is the top. I can't really tell. Seems like it's uh, equal. I think I would like to put a little piece of yellow um, above, right next to the head, just because the head is black. This might be all I need, and then just a little, I'll fix that. Ideally, I would like to cut that little corner. I mean, this is tiny stuff, you guys. It's like his neck. I want to trim that one. I think we're good. I like the shape of it. It looks bumblebee-ish. Now I have to figure out how I'm going to do the wings. I need a little butt. Um, I don't know how I would make. There's nothing I can really use that's like just a point, like a, a pin or a black, uh, let's see, a triangle, like a little triangle. It's really hard to, let's see if I can do it. Sometimes you can look through your scraps and actually just find the exact piece that would work, but I don't have any little black. Oh, look at this. This looks like a triangle. I think this is a triangle. Kind of, let's see. I think it is. I have to get it to stand up. And again, getting that glued down is going to be difficult. So then, ideally it would be great if I had circles to begin with. The little drawing gives you an indication of where I'm going. I just want little puffy pieces of white. like, And this is an iridescent pinkish white. I really don't know. I'm going to have to make them with my... Um, wheel nippers. So what I want to do first is cut, 
kind of like the size that I would like. Maybe I'll do it all in one piece. If I use this, like say I go, um, it's much smaller than um, I drew, but let me see if I can cut this. So what I want to do is you take it in bits so I can cut both of this off. I probably could just do it with my, um, my wheel nipper, but I'm going to just do it this way. And then I could go across what would be great if I had like little iridescent hearts I would just cut the heart oh, I don't think I have white I don't think I have white hearts so see here if I just had like a small heart I could just cut this part of the heart off and that's a wing I don't have anything like that um, I'm just looking, I just drew my attention, like I have, I think I have white ones of these, they're too tall, and they're not iridescent, so I'm just going to stick with what I'm doing, but man, any way that you can make it easier is a good thing, that's all I'm thinking, so I'm just going to go straight across, And then I can kind of use my wheel nipper to finish the shape. Hopefully. Stained glass doesn't love wheel nippers. I don't I don't do really great with wheel nippers and stained glass. I mean, I guess it's the same as a a, a glass tile. It, it kind of, yeah, I want to, if I break it in half, you know what, there, that's going to be it right here. Boom. And if I take a little Q-tip and just get off the magic marker, it's not looking great. Somehow I lost, it got lost in translation what I was doing. Oh, okay, here it is. doesn't look round enough but it definitely could I'll get there I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that <clears throat> so I do the same thing over here um, yeah I think it's gonna be good and then I'm gonna glue it into place be right back all right he's done he's over here let me I'm just gonna shift the camera over because I don't want to move him all right so I'm just going to use my little paper to kind of audition which way I want them to go. And I think I do want them to go this way. Like he's kind, And I might make a piece of ball chain kind of go like it's his buzzy line. But now I'm getting carried away. <laughs> Anywho, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab my syringe with my silicone. This is a 10 millimeter or liter, milliliter syringe that I put the silicone in. It just has really saved me. Um, it's such a messy substance. So I'm going to start by just sticking the head. Oh, it might be a little stuck. Speaking of stuck, um, just go up. Oh, there we go. I pulled the little, look at that, the little dried piece of silicone. So now we're ready for business. That's for the head. I'm going to use my tweezers. Hopefully I'll be able to grab this little guy. Put it right there. Make a little line for the body. I'm trying to spread it as I go. It's such a messy situation. 
but that ought to do it. I might as well just put all of it down. A wing, a wing, a wing, and you know what? A wing. So that's that. Now I just have to place it. And I have the pieces under the under the rock. Rocks are tricky substrates because they're bumpy and they're ridgely. They have ridges and they I could trim this a little. I just want to take that corner off it. There we go. But I think you're going to be able to tell it's a B. Oopsie. Let me see if I can trim. No, I'm not going to trim this one. Let it be. That looks too big. Dang it. I should have trimmed it a little. I have silicone on it. It's alright. We'll just go with it. If I really hate it, I'll definitely switch it. You know me. I definitely could have done better. I think if I trim this, it might make me happier. So I think I'm going to just trim the edge off of here. I don't even know if it did it, but I think it did. You heard the crunch. Not enough, though. <laughs> there we go. That definitely took a crunch off of it. All right, somehow he got moved. <laughs> I think he shifted on me. So I'm going to add a little more uh, silicone here for this wing. This wing. Got some big wings, doesn't he? And maybe a little more silicone. Might have to put that little butt on them. Yeah, I think I need a little piece of black on the bottom. I don't know where I put it if I had one. That little triangle I was going to use for his butt. I think it's right here. I don't think it's going to stick. <gasps> Ooh, I think I might have just the right thing. I'm not sure. Hold on. This is part of um, a round. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, I found it. <laughs> All right, let me put a little silicone for the tail and hope for the best. Kind of pointing, I could I could straighten it out, but I, I don't know. I kind of like that it's pointing. You know, he's a little wonky, but I like it. I think it just fills that spot really nice. Now, I could do a little ball chain. Let's see if I have any on my desk. I know where you are, ball chain. <clears throat> but when I growl, let me come up. Do I really need to? 
it would look so cute but there's nothing else to kind of ground it it's just gonna be loose but I could grout around it I'm not sure what to do these are the these are very important decisions but meanwhile I am happy with my B all right you guys that's it for this video I will be back when I grout and I'm also coming back with another video about a surprise, a painting surprise. I'll be right back. Thanks for watching.